just leaving uh, the end of Supply Bay on the end of Cape Townsend now. I'm either going to go to the Collins Group or uh, to the Duke Islands. The Duke Islands are 19 uh, k's away and I reckon that'll be a nicer place to go. So we're going to give it a go. It's spring tides at the moment. We had a new moon, la a full moon last night. So I should be able to belt on down there at the moment. It's not a bloody run all the way. God almighty, it's a run. What a pain in the neck. It's on times like these that you can't just go on the GPS because uh, because of the tie. The tie's taking you one way and then it's taking you the other way. You really need to go on a compass course so that you go down with the tide for six hours, then you come up with the tide for six hours. That's if you've got a, you know, if you've got a uh, tr trip that's going to be six hours. I'm, uh, I've got 20, 20 odd miles, say four knots, so that's uh, six hours, and I've got the tide uh, 11 o'clock, so I've got the tide either way. Uh, so I've got three hours and three hours, basically, so I'll, uh, yeah, I'll set a course and then just use the autopilot, the, uh, what's on the autopilot to get me there, I think, to start with anyway, and forget the GPS. I want to head about, I reckon I want to head about 320. <laughs> That might make it. Bloody hell, right behind me. Life's never easy, is it? I've got the wind behind me and light winds. I'm done with the reach. Just going to show you what it looks like from the bow and then we'll look at it on the chart plotter. You can see that large island up there on the uh, starboard side of the bow. And then right on the, uh, right through that sheet there, there's, uh, uh, there's a load and I believe that's Hexham. And coming on round this way a bit further is the Duke Islands, which we're going to go to today. Yeah. And, uh, there we are, that's the little red dot there. So we're heading down towards Hexham at the moment, but the tide, if you look here at the tide, is 2.5 2 to 3 knots going that way. All right, or, or that way there. So we should get pulled down, hopefully. So I don't really want to head straight for them. The reason the uh, GPS is telling me that they're uh, in front of me is the tide. The tide now is sweeping us down at about two knots uh, towards them, uh, towards and to the back of them. So, uh, so I'm hoping that we'll, if we make a knot forward, which we are, we should be uh, heading over there slowly, and uh, the tide will take us, did drag us down onto them. 
there's not much wind at the moment but the tide is dragging me down at two knots that way and I am going forward my the boat is heading towards two rocks so I'm heading this way but the GPS my track is over here because the tide is taking me that way at two knots and I'm making one knot that way so that's what, what's happening at the moment I might end up at Otterbourne down here with the tide tide pulling me this way I might end up down here uh, at Otterbourne and then I'll have to anchor just there and wait for the tide and then c come over to, to there I'm not going to put the outboard on and push against two knots of tide for uh, about five miles Well, desperate times at the moment. I'm not going to make this uh, this Duke Island, so we're way of the way we're going. So I'm going to put the spinnaker up, see if I can make a bit more progress. I'm heading up towards those uh, rocks over there. It's called Two Rocks. Uh, the Duke Islands are down here and uh, I'm uh, getting dragged with a tide about there and I'm going to miss these Duke Islands which are basically uh, on my quarter because uh, the uh, tide's ripping down at about two knots two knots, I'm probably doing three three knots and we're making one knot but there's the Duke Islands and that's where I'd like to go. We've caught our first little mackerel of the trip. It'd be great for crab bait. So here we go. Yeah, back to sailing the boat again now. I've got the spinnaker going, drawing. We're doing 2.2 through the water. I think we're doing at least four. And we're heading in the right direction now. I'm heading for those uh, little two rocks still, but we seem to be on a collision course for this Duke Island if I keep going towards those. So I've got two knots of tide pulling me back that way. So we're doing about two knots in the right direction. It's telling me on my compass here that the islands are over here, so I'm doing all right. I'll have to stop me solar collecting now. Finnica's in the way. This is the way the boat's heading towards the end of Duke Island over there. But uh, this, but uh, my GPS, it, we're going, we're, we're actually heading to this little island over here that's sticking up. Uh, that is actually where we're heading. The tide is taking me there, even though I'm going in flat out at the moment, uh, straight forward. That's how much current is taking me down. So only doing 2.2 through the. Uh, through the over the ground and that's where I'm uh, at the moment I'm heading is to this little island even though my uh, my bow is pointing way up here so it's about 40 degrees off uh, off the bow at least 50 degrees off the bow well we've made it to the m marble group
I'm sitting on top of Hunter Island in the Duke Group and uh, as the sun's going down and you can see the tide roaring through there now six meter tides here you can see the tide line on the uh, over on the other side it's a great spot I think I'll spend a couple of days exploring this place <laughs> 